Saluetes Rurales. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's Dinosaur Day. My name is Andreas Morehouse, and I teach and speak Latin and Ancient Greek. On Dinosaur Day, we talk about the etymology, the origins of the words and names that refer to dinosaurs. If you haven't seen the first couple of parts of this uh, series, you can check it out on our profile. And as requested by one of our viewers, Knuff1382, we are going to talk today about the Ankylosaurus, or in English, the Ankylosaurus. As we talked about in the very first episode of our series, saurus comes from the Greek word sauros, which means lizard. So we obviously know now that dinosaurs are like closer to birds than they are lizards, but you get the point. That leaves the word ankylo, right, which comes from the ancient Greek ankulos. Ankulos is an adjective that means crooked or, or bent. Think of the English word ankle or of the Latin word angulus, where we get angle. The Ankylosaurus, or Ankylosaurus rather, would therefore be something like the crooked lizard or the bent lizard. But like, why though? Some people suggest that the origin of this name comes from ankylosis, which is a, a medical condition in which bones are fused together. When you look at an Ankylosaurus, some of its vertebrae at the bottom are fused. But we don't actually know for sure exactly why the Ankylosaurus is called the Ankylosaurus. One thing we do know for sure, it's cool as heck and it looks like a tank. Do you have other dinosaur etymologies that you'd like to know? Let us know in the comments. And as always, like, follow, share, so that other people can learn more about Latin, ancient Greek, and dinosaurs. Like, what's better than that? Gracias, Wobis Ago, and I'll see you all next week for more dinosaur facts. Check out also our most recent podcast episode about otium and negotium, business and leisure. Check it out here. Walete sodales.